What's up, y'all? Fiona Fox from Kitsuga.com here. I've got something really cool for you guys today. Toast, out of Portland, Oregon, has made us a custom wood cover for my Xbox One. They lasered our logo right on top. This is super cool. So I'm going to open it up and show you guys what's inside. I've never seen this before. Brand new. So unlike a lot of the other covers that are out there that are made of vinyl, this guy is made of real wood. So it smells like wood. It handles like wood. If you ever had when you were a kid, like... A glider. This is kind of like a balsa wood, so it's heavily backed because it's backed with a three hem adhesive. So you get in the box, you're gonna get obviously you've got the main panel for the top of the Xbox. That's the one that has our logo on it. You've got a faceplate, and then you've got your assorted little side plates because there's a lot of side pieces on the Xbox One. Uh, a couple of alcohol pad wipes, which is really nice because now you can take these and you can prep the surface for that 3M adhesive and your directions right here. Alright guys, we're going to put this together. The instructions are to start with the top panel. So this is the top panel here. Uh, each panel sort of folds over a little bit. The wood is, is pretty thick, so you're not, you don't really have to worry about breaking it. Um, the panels sort of fold over, for lack of a better word, uh, like this. So you can hopefully see me there folding those over a little bit. There you go. So they fold over and that's how they they stick on. And then we've got the 3M adhesive on the back, of course. So we're going to take off the adhesive backing. And it, what it gives us is these little dots. The adhesive does not cover the entire the entire thing. It gives us these little dots. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in just like this. And we're going to line it up as best we can here with the side. And put the side on. Now the wood is sort of cracking. It makes like a cracking sound when you put it on, but um, according to the instructions, that's pretty normal. So, And it is real wood, so it's going to make like a slight cracking noise. So we put that... So now we're going to put the top on. It recommends putting them... I'm only doing this because it recommends putting them on from the largest to the bottom to the smallest. Um, yeah, the front face is pointing up. The second largest toast panel goes on the front face. The idea here being that, um, according to Toastmate, this creates an entire uh, contiguous grain uh, on the Xbox. So basically you have one whole wood grain going across, so it doesn't look like it's a bunch of chopped pieces, uh, which is pretty cool. Now one thing I will say is that I'm having some issues bending this, I guess is the right word. Um, I maybe take the adhesive off first and then bend it. Let's see if I can do that, guys. And again, this is that same adhesive. Come in, adhesive. There we go. So it's not going to be um, all the way so that you can see out of the back there, there's little holes. That's what I'm talking about. So now we're going to put this on, making sure that we line it up as best as possible on the bottom. And, you know, precision is, is the key here. Um, it's all just eye by eye, you know, so if you, if you screw it up, you can pull it off just for a few seconds. It doesn't, the adhesive does not stick immediately. Uh, you are able to remove the adhesive. Uh, a little bit, that's the benefit of that 3M adhesive. Okay, so there's the, the second large panel. I think I put it up a little bit higher than it needs to be, honestly, but that's all right. Um, there's there's some tolerances, some small tolerances in the plastic. I'm actually going to see if I can pull this off and stick it back on, or if 3M was... or if this 3M adhesive is too strong for that, because I should have put it on left side first. All right, we took a quick shot break there because we were going to just, I just pulled the front plate off so that this would be flush right here. Uh, I was not paying attention and did not make this flush. So now it's flush and it's flush with the bottom as well. So let's get back to it. Uh, we've got the next two largest panels we have are the front and side panels. So this panel, I'm not sure if it's the one that goes on the bottom because there's, uh, it's a little hard to see this. Let me see if I can rotate around for you guys. But on the bottom of the Xbox right here, you know, we've got this panel right here. So I think it goes right here. I'm not super sure. And then there's one more panel that goes on the side. Yeah, so that's it. It's, it's that one. Okay, so let's do that one first because it's a bit larger of a panel. So I'm going to turn this straight up so you guys can see it. A little bit of dust here. So Xbox doesn't get a lot of use, poor girl. Uh, switched over to mostly PC-based gaming. So hopefully uh, this will be a herald of things to come where I'll be doing more Xbox content for the site. So I guess this isn't that panel because it's too long. So y'all get to fail with me here. Oh, it's the underside panel. I literally said that like five seconds ago. Let's make sure we don't put it down on the adhesive side. There we go. And then we'll turn it around so that I can actually see it. Hopefully you guys can see that too. I think you can. We'll find out. 
And the idea here is to kind of to get these to up against each other, which is a lot harder than it looks, to be honest. Um, we don't want an interruption in the green, if possible, but this is a very good adhesive, and so what happens is when I get it close, it just sort of immediately sticks. Um, but there we go, that's pretty good. That will do. I love this uh, sort of beechwood color, for lack of a better word for it. I don't really know what color it is officially, but I'm going to call it a beechwood color. On the website, you can look. Uh, you can look at the website, and I'll have a full review on there, a text review. Of course, it'll tell you what color it is. Do and then we'll get this panel on. This one goes on right here. It's got a little space, and then it wraps over. Uh, I will say you got to be a little careful with the wrap over. Um, I put it on just a little bit tighter than it probably needed to go on, and um, a little bit. The tolerances are very small. Which is good, because I mean, this is, you know, precision machine product and whatnot. Um, so you want the tolerances to be small if possible. Um, but they are very small. Meaning that people like myself that are prone to, <laughs> prone to errors, as I am, um, maybe not as good at doing this as anybody else. So now we've got some, some individual pieces in, in middle pieces right here. So this guy goes, like, right here. As you can see, the tolerance is, like super tight, so we'll get him in there. I have to do that off camera guys, sorry, I can't quite get it in. I think I'm going to be able to get it on camera, just because of how tight the tolerance is. Just sort of slide it in there. And of course you don't cover the vent, because the vent is the only way that the Xbox One gets air, and we certainly don't want our Xbox One having an Xbox 360 moment where it has a red ring of death. Although I don't think you can get a red ring of death on the Xbox One. Uh, you get something else instead. I'm not too sure what it is. So now we've got this side panel here. Every panel is covered by this uh, this awesome piece of fanciness here. Uh, this fancy wood covering. And uh, the adhesive is very good, uh, even if you have to pull it off to put it back on, like I did, because you're a dumbass. Because uh, I am a dumbass. So this one has a flat on one side and an angle on the other because there's an angle over here. It's kind of like assembling the world's most simple puzzle. Um, <laughs> I'm just not very good at puzzles, obviously. So there we go. That's in there. And there's another strip for over here, uh, which has an angle again on the side. You can tell which one goes where by the angles. I see an angled cut there. So you can tell which one goes where. And we will put this on. The attention to detail, of course, is absolutely fantastic on these things because they have every little panel, every flat surface, basically, that's not a vent on the Xbox is covered. Now we'll go over to the other side and do the same thing that we just did. We'll clear off that dust there. And um, this one goes, you know, here and that one goes there. Basically, it's a pretty simple game once you get past all the complex panels. I'm going to put the, the top ones on first. Maybe that'll make it a little bit easier. There is some cat hair from one of my many nascent kitties at my father's house here. Where we are filming this because he has a wood grain table and I do not. And I wanted to show you the wood on the wood. So I came over here to film it. Well, I may have put one of these on backwards, guys. Once we start getting down to the small bits, it definitely is a matter of precision. Absolute precision and whatnot. I screwed up this one little part right here, but that's okay. We'll just bend it down. And then we'll put on the other long piece. It's very easy to remove the backing from this adhesive, which is really nice. I recently put up some LEDs in my office, and removing the backing from those Chinese LEDs was like pulling teeth. Just ask my dad, he helped. I think the hardest part of those LEDs was removing the damn backing, actually. Okay, there we go. That's in, mostly in place there. And the last piece is going on... No. There we 
go. This side is a little bit rougher than the other side, but... So there you go. That's the Kitsugi.com Xbox One uh, with our logo on it and all the Toast Made, all thanks to Toast Made, guys. Uh, big thanks to them. Even on the front panel where you can only see a little bit, of course, both sides. This side's a little messier. That's my fault. That has nothing to do with Toast. I screwed that up. And uh, big thanks to the guys at Toast. Uh, they are out of Portland, Oregon. And thank you so much to them for to them for this custom logo on the front. And uh, keep it tuned to Kitsubi.com for all your gaming news and reviews.